guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so i i caught a question or comment in the uh, one of the first videos um recently and someone mentioned that the progress is actually really slow in the game and yeah it is it actually really is uh slow and it's not so much anything i can really do um it's not based on my gameplay style or anything like that it's just you know getting an amount of settlers like this it slowly progresses over time but uh, the more settlers you have the longer it takes like we have a total of like nine settlers right now i mean i've gotten up to 10 before but it takes a long time to get up to the like a new number and stuff like that for another settler it's not a game like um many other games where you can just or like Sims or, uh, for example, um, City Skylines. It's not where you can just like, it's not that kind of city builder. It's more of like a strategy kind of city builder where you have to, you know, plan out and, and manage and all that other stuff uh, really efficiently. Um, like, obviously, we're not using the tailoring thing 24-7, only when we need it, right? So, though it's like a good building to have, it's not something that we always have someone producing. I mean, we should be <laughs> producing a lot of clothes because you can sell it for quite a bit of high price, but we don't have anywhere to really store all those items yet. So, um, actually, that would be a good idea to actually have like a warehouse or something. I That's like a thing that we don't have yet and we could probably make some room somewhere um but yeah you know that's generally the um consensus consensus of the game it's just really slow progression you have to make strategic uh improvements over time and you know the better work that you do on your buildings and stuff the, you know the nicer the little small details like you know that little overhang and stuff makes the village look a lot better overall so um, obviously some things are required, like, you know, having a church, the two types of churches and stuff like that. Actually, one of the things that I want to work on is upgrading those two roofs as well, because they're kind of, uh, significant buildings in this game. So, um, yeah, so we'll probably be working on that next. We have tons of clay, as far as I know. Um, let's just double check. Well, we're actually running a little bit low on it, oddly enough. I had it all filled up before, so... I will probably get them to start mining out um, some stuff. Uh, let's see if we can't mine out some of this stuff over here. And, okay, where are you going? Oh, that's right. I, I was telling them last episode to chop down a bunch of wood because we're running a little bit low on wood and stuff. And then we were starting to work on this particular barn. So we'll be slowly working at that.
Alrighty then. So, currently getting, um... Eloise? Eloise? I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, basically she's gonna mine out some gold right now. I have like three spots marked out for gold. And we'll see if we can't get the resources from that. And we should probably start focusing on the next, um... Unlock for stuff. We have defense. Uh, we can do. We're pretty much towards the end for unlocking the first tier stuff. Beekeeping's definitely level two. Infirmary. Okay, so we have the infirmary, but we don't really have any per se, like, actual need for that at the moment. Research number two, we'll need that for research number three. Armor two, swords two, chemistry, brewing, ice making. Okay, yeah, so I think pretty much we have um, just like stone cutting and then from that we have stone carving but we don't really need to do that at the moment like I want to preserve as much stone as possible until we have the paths laid out but because call the the cobblestone is really hard to come by uh, where's she going okay she's going to get a drink so that's fine she got the all that gold out so that's good got actually quite a bit of gold from that Okay, and uh, some of the stuff that I've been working on over here is I wanted to fill this in to about here. I think that's about there, yeah. So about here, so basically that will allow us to expand our zone just a little bit more so we have a little bit more room. And that still leaves quite a bit of buffer zone on the other side there. But uh, it's going to take a little while to fill that in and then we should have enough dirt once we get all that stuff mined out over on this side. So I'm hoping that's the case. But I told them to mine more clay too, just in case we need it for later on. We'll have all that clay to mine out too, so it's not a huge issue. And they do have some bricks, but it's not a lot. Um, they're still working on the church for these parts uh, over here, and I think this one still has some over here on this side as well, so it's going to be a while until we can fully upgrade it, and I have no idea how I'm going to basically...
All right, so I'm currently just trying to get a system set up for um, the, uh, what, what do we call this place? It's the sewing station. So I guess the uh, textile area, the building, uh, textile workshop. And I wanted to get uh, some rugs made. So I'm basically, I have a rug stockpile that I still need to name. So rug stockpile. And we'll just call that one. I don't expect to have more than that, but you know, just on the possibility of having more spots available. Um, and then this will be for uh, clothing. Uh, we'll probably have that for um, additional stuff. So, like summer clothes. Actually, you know what? Why not have that as the. Um, the rugs and then we could do summer clothing and then winter clothing on this side I think that would work out really well so that would allow us to have three spots right so I just need to figure out where on our uh, okay appeal and then clothing and then we'll have summer clothes on this side and then we can just copy that uh, put that on this side and then we can call this um, winter uh, appeal. And we'll say one just so we have a rough estimate. Uh, we'll also set the uh, value to. Uh, let's see here. Probably good and above. And as long as the hit points are at least 50 and above, I would say, would be reasonable. Um, actually, we could probably even have that higher. We could probably say 75. And we'll just copy that settings and we'll put it over here as well. So this one will be um, summer. So like that, so then we can do one, and then we just need to update this to clothing that's summer already. So this is the one that we need to update. And then this can be our rug stockpile, which can be eventually traded uh, with other factions for profit and stuff. I think that would be a, something I want to get into, is actually going in.
right, so we got some stuff done. Uh, we got the armor uh, building finally finished, so it's all set up pretty much. I mean, we still need storage and stuff like that for the items, but um, I got it to basically um, grind down the materials from leather helmets, the uh, gamber gambeson, I think that's what it's called, the gambeson. And then there's the light armor that it will also uh, deconstruct if it's below, equal to or below 75%. And then the other one is if it's um, sturdy or lower quality. So anything that isn't one of those two things, it should be able to deconstruct it or it won't deconstruct it. And then for all the other types of uh, textile stuff, I have just to deconstruct it over here. So all the hoods, different types of fabric, clothing, things like that, that will all be deconstructed at this facility rather than the other one. Uh, they're working on making some rugs, but... Um, yeah, it's going to take some time. Making a rug is it takes generally a lot more time than to uh, make clothing. So I expect it to be a little bit of a while until they go ahead and finish that up. But um, yeah, outside of that, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.